The time machine hummed and whirred, its gears grinding as it transported me back millions of years into the past. The air grew thick with the scent of salt and the sound of crashing waves filled my ears. I had arrived in the Pleistocene epoch, a time when mammoths roamed the earth and saber-toothed cats stalked their prey. As I ventured closer to the shore, I stumbled upon a rocky outcrop teeming with life. On the cliffs above, hundreds of large, flightless birds huddled together, their black and white plumage blending seamlessly with the rocks. These were the great auks, magnificent creatures that once dominated the North Atlantic. One of the great auks, sensing my presence, turned its head towards me. Its eyes, large and curious, held a wisdom that spoke of ages past. I felt a strange connection with this creature, a sense of kinship that transcended time. Welcome, young traveler. The great auk spoke in a voice that echoed like the crashing waves. I am Pinguinus Impenis, the great auk. What brings you to my time? I explained to the great auk that I had come from the future, a time when his kind had long since vanished. He listened intently, his head tilted slightly as if in contemplation. Ah, so you come from a time when the world is much changed, he said. Tell me, what is it like in your time? I described the world I knew, a world of towering cities, machines that could fly and communication that spanned the globe. The great auk listened with fascination, his eyes widening in wonder. It sounds like a world of great progress, he said, but I cannot help but wonder if it has come at a cost. I thought about the environmental challenges facing my time, the pollution and climate change that threaten the planet. I realized that the great auk, with his deep connection to nature, might have insights that could help us. What was your world like? I asked. What challenges did you face? The great auk sighed. My world was a vast and wild place, filled with icy waters and towering cliffs. We, the great auks, lived in massive colonies on these cliffs, nesting in crevices and raising our young. Our lives were not without danger, of course. We were preyed upon by polar bears, sharks, and even humans. How did you survive? I asked. We survived through our strength, our numbers, and our unity, the great auk replied. Our wings were powerful, allowing us to swim with incredible speed and agility. We also lived in close-knit colonies, which made it difficult for predators to pick us off one by one. But eventually your kind disappeared, I said. What happened? The great auk's eyes grew distant as he recalled the events of the past. Humans began to hunt us relentlessly for our meat, feathers, and oil, he said. Our numbers dwindled rapidly, and our colonies were decimated. Eventually we were no more. I felt a pang of sadness for the great auk and his kind. They had been magnificent creatures, and it was a tragedy that they had vanished from the earth. What can we learn from your story? I asked. The great auk looked at me with a knowing smile. We can learn that even the mightiest of creatures can be vulnerable to change, he said. We can also learn that it is important to live in harmony with nature, for our own survival depends on it.